Friday night football is here under the lights and it is non-league derby day at what is probably one of the best derbies that maybe you've never heard of before. Without wanting to sound too much like bold and bankrupt, how much does this look like a Soviet sculpture? So there's the big sculpture of the shipbuilders and look, you can see some ships and buildings through here and stuff. I think this is something ship related. Rigby's pattern, I'm sure there's, what is this? Engineers, Glasgow, 1886. Yeah, clues in the name, Port Glasgow. This was a big shipbuilding area back in the industrial age, but that's all kind of shut down a lot now, as have a lot of industrial towns all around the UK. And I don't think it's quite as prosperous now as what it was for its citizens back then. But yes, grim day out there today. It's uh, Port Glasgow versus Greenock Juniors. I've come out this way a lot for games in the past, usually for Greenock Morton. Um, but today, yeah, it's the battle of two clubs from this area. And apparently it is quite the derby with quite the rivalry. So I'm hoping there's a great atmosphere tonight. West of Scotland League Division 3, the ninth tier. One tier above our favourite tier, the bottom tier, which is the 10th tier of Scotland. So um, yeah, really looking forward to this one. Please, guys, can you hit that like button? I very rarely ask people to like the videos, but um, if you could, it's completely free, obviously. Um, and it would really, really help me out. You'll have to believe me, but Dumbarton is over there that side of the water somewhere oh my god just a few days ago i was in geneva and it was beautiful now i'm here in port glasgow keeping it real for you guys My name's Chris McKillop and I'm part of Port Glasgow Juniors Football Club and I'm the treasurer. Thank you so much for um, obviously inviting me down today. Oh. Really looking forward to this one. I have a lot of viewers from around the world who yeah. maybe haven't heard of these two sides before. Yes. What can you tell me about the derby? It's, it's an exciting one. Um, people, people from here will say it's, it's the biggest derby you're going to get in the area. That, that's the big thing about it. It's a long, it's a long rivalry. Uh, it's been, it's been about for more years than I can remember. But what I would say about it is, it's a friendly rivalry. Um, there's a, there's a good bit of respect for each of the clubs, um, and same with the fans. There's a good bit of respect there. Good thing is, this rivalry will let fans in, so it's good. So it's good from that point of view. Of course, yeah. There's a few rivalries up and down the country, isn't there, Absolutely. where there's no sort of away fans. Yeah, totally. But, but today you'll get, are. you'll get both. Um, 100%, we'll get both, and they'll be a good. Um, I think the game in September was a good contingent of both. Yeah. Uh, the same here again today. And so, how is life? for you personally helping out behind the scenes at a club in the ninth tier of Scottish football? I think people don't realise how much goes into it. Um, I've been at the club... Sorry to interrupt, but as you say that, look, people are buttering, absolutely, buttering rolls in there absolutely, and everything, getting everything, exactly. tickets for it. Yeah, yeah. It's, there's so much goes into it. I think it's the big thing. There's, this club's had people here for 20 years, 25 years as part of the committee. Personally, I've only been here for around five years and the work that goes into it is incredible. And there's, the, the secretary of the club, Peter Lachlan, he's been the foundation of the club from start to finish mm -hmm. over the last 25 years or so. And I think the big thing for me is, as a community club, we've got Port Glasgow Juniors CSE and um, Community Sports Club. There is uh, over three, 400 kids in that. So it's a real family affair. And I think when you see tonight when the kids lead out uh, the players tonight, you see how much of a community spirit it is around the club. And what would you say to people of the local area? Maybe when Morton are playing away? What? That's it, when Morton are playing away, come down, come down and support us. Um, I think one of the challenges we've got this season is when both ourselves and Greenock have been at home for the majority of the time at mm -hmm. the same time. So it takes the fans and divides the fans a little bit from that perspective. And so you've put um, this game on a Friday so that hopefully more fans, more fans can, fans can come. Yeah, because yeah. we know that there is fans that will travel out with the area to go and watch games out with the area. So hopefully yep. a Friday night will allow as much fans as possible to come down and experience the, the derby that it is. Andy, your coach for one of the uh, for the away uh, side for today, Greenock, yeah. for Greenock Juniors. Um, how does it feel being involved in these big derby matches? Well, uh, exciting, exciting. I've I actually played with Port Glasgow. Okay. Uh, split allegiances yeah. today then? So, no, I need split allegiances. It's all Greenock for me now. Okay. Um, aye, it's exciting. Uh, obviously, we got a good 2 0 victory against them at home the first yep. game. Hopefully, we can come up here and turn them over again. There's been a bit of change, obviously, with the West of Scotland League 
in the last like three or four years. Yeah. What do you make of the league structure, particularly at this level? Well, I'm, I'm pretty new to it. I've only come in this year, so I think it's good for the boys. It's good for the, the younger ones coming through. It's definitely a step stone to higher leagues, to yeah. bigger leagues and that. So hopefully some of your boys can move on, but not just me. And you're expecting a good atmosphere today then? Yeah, I expect a big crowd here, even though the weather's not the greatest again, yep. but uh, I'm expecting a big crowd, yeah. This is Port Glasgow in February, isn't it? It's uh, not going to be, it's Glasgow, not going to be great, yeah. I live in Port Glasgow, I live in Port Glasgow, always. <laughs> nice one. Well, thank you so thank much, you mate. Boys. I do like a pie at the football, but even morally is a roll and sausage, especially at night. Obviously, more of a breakfast food, but roll and sausage, let's see what it's saying. It's one of the best things about living in Scotland. I don't know why England hasn't adopted more square sausage or lawn sausage. Come on, England, what are we doing? <laughs> so some of you play for Port, right? And you play for Greener. Uh, play for Port as well, some of the younger players. So we'll be seeing you in the first team fairly soon. What are we thinking for today anyway? The big derby? 2-1 Port. 2-1 Port. Savages. You're a Vale of Clyde supporter, and you, who do you support? Aberdeen. Aberdeen? Yeah. That's a quite a little weird mixture. A Vale of Clyde fan and an Aberdeen fan at Port Glasgow versus Greenock Juniors. What brings you to today's game? Friday night football, exactly. not much else on tonight. Exactly. A few savages here today as well, the the ultras and stuff. What do you make of the what do you make of the ground and the atmosphere and the club yeah, and stuff? It's a big park, one of the biggest parks in Scotland. Same yep. dimensions Hamden, so Exactly I was told that before the game actually. I yeah. usually play football in it, so hopefully see good bit of play on today. Yeah, I think Hamden's the biggest pitch in Scotland, right? And I think this matches it. Uh, same dimensions, so yeah. So that's pretty so, cool. Uh, and uh, do you know much about these two clubs then? Um not really, to be honest. Um, just getting out the watch, so. Yep, fair enough. Right, so Hoping for a good game. What's the score going to be? 2 1 Port. I'll watch your videos. 2 0 Port. 3 1 Port. Good turnout here, though. How many would you say? How many is in the pool? So there's a lot of there and all around the other side as well. Right, is that? Um, 500? 500, I'd say maybe. What was the really best asking? They might announce it later on. Yeah. Uh, the 1948 crew. <laughs> Beware. Shake myself. That was a ninth tier corner. How many highlights have you got so far? <laughs> Very few. <laughs> <gasps> oh, what a save! Oh, what a miss! Oh! Greenock have scored. First, that is literally the first time they've been up this end, isn't it? How long in are we? 30 minutes? <laughs> 26 minutes in. And they've come up this end and they've scored. What a miss as well, yeah. I oh, know. Give him a good save as well. Yep. It's 2-0. The away bench loving it as well. Keeper should have saved it, do you reckon? Seemed like it just slipped through his hands a little bit, didn't it? I somebody. Anyone you want to give a shout out to? Oh god, is it you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Fans aren't happy with that yellow. It was definitely a yellow card. I, I just wanted enough to lift the bottle. Is that a yellow, yeah? Oh, it's a red. It is a red. Second yellow. A first half red card. The skipper. Port Glasgow red card. 
Here's a proper derby. Wasn't a great tackle. <laughs> oh, it's half time. <laughs> half time, boys. What do you think of the first half? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. So you're <laughs> green, green okay, and you are. I'm just arms up. Okay. Just okay. <laughs> but you're happy that green are going in. And uh, the red card. Dizel. No, it's it's <laughs> and final score? Um, I'm saying 4 now. I'm saying 3 now. Oh. What a tackle that is! One of Morton's most recognisable men. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm alright mate, I am okay. Have you changed your scenery, do? Yeah, and things are going well at Morton at the moment. After a couple of bad months, it's turned right around, hasn't it? Dougie says the whole time, mate, if he, if he gets his players back in, we have options and we'd kick on, and that's 11 undefeated, 8 of them wins, yep. 7 clean sheets, I think. It's and not a so what did you think of this game today? I, I think the game was over once the once red cared. I think the second goal the red cared were quite close together. A wee bit frantic, but the weather's shite, so it's it's difficult for them. But yeah, big pitch as well, same size as Hamden. It's huge, yeah. right? It's huge, which doesn't help when you end up with amateurs playing yeah. on it and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So it's not it's not helpful. But uh, I, you can you not just look comfortable once it was two goals a man up. So it's yeah, going too hard to and there was quite a bit of needle between the teams, wasn't there? It's you so can you like tell it's a derby. So yeah. like these, aye, it's good. That's that's why you could. Just people just coming for the flashpoints, aye. Yeah. So, good. so there we have it, a non-league derby that maybe you haven't heard of before. I know the people from around here will have done. I'm really impressed with the turnout. Actually, maybe I don't. It's not been announced or anything. Five or six hundred, maybe here. Plus Ali McCoy stood next to me in the second half, which I completely didn't realise until a couple of the lads said. Great to see such a good turnout on a Friday night here on a rainy port glasgow look at this bringing you the real content please do subscribe i'm gonna leave my geneva video on screen i know i've mentioned that earlier today um so yeah if you want to see some beautiful scenery i'm not saying that port glasgow doesn't have beautiful scenery um but it's a little bit different to switzerland please do click on that video to continue watching it would make my night cheers and goodbye